I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. And in this one, I'm going to talk about demultiplexers. If you've been watching my videos in series, then the last video that you just saw was about multiplexers. And I'm going to uh, do just the opposite with a demultiplexer. So a demultiplexer has one input and multi or multiple data out. And then we have n select inputs. Okay. And let's take a look at how it's uh, built internally. So just like the multiplexer where it uh, had a decoder, we have two select inputs or n select inputs. And coming out of the decoder are, are these outputs. And I'm going to run them down to a series of AND gates. And then the AND gates will all have one common lead, which is my input. So, uh, as you recall, the decoder has these uh, select inputs, which selects one of the two to the n outputs, and which will allow one of these AND gates to have a high input. All the others will be low uh, for their non-common input. And then if this input is high as well, then the selected AND gate will be outputting a high. Uh, so. How would you use this? Let's say that you have a serial line that you want to be able to send to multiple different peripherals or devices connected to whatever it is that you're building. Uh, you could use a demultiplexer for this. So that's demultiplexers. If you enjoyed this video, take a look at my YouTube channel where I have other digital logic videos. For robotbrigade.com, I'm Jack Buffington.